All right, class, let's get going with our second series of boards. Our topic is post-classical period, 600 to 1450 CE. Our social question, how did the development of religion affect the Middle East? So, rise of Islam in the early 600s, Islam began to rise. Followers of Islam are called Muslims. Uh, Muhammad recorded the, uh, the, their whole, the, the, the Quran, which is um, their most holy book. Uh, followers must submit to the five pillars of Islam, and uh, we won't go over all of those uh, today, but in, you know, obviously in class we will. Uh, Me Mecca, which is uh, the founding city of uh, Islam, is in Saudi Arabia. The Islamic religion is monotheistic. Muhammad started in Mecca, but uh, had to flee when he started to prophesize or talk about Islam. Uh, they ran him out of Mecca. He had to flee to Medina, that was known as the Hijra, and that is actually the year one of the Islamic calendar. Um, in Medina, uh, Muhammad was able to build up support, uh, and he returned to Mecca, and then started to um, <clears throat> spread his religion of Islam. Muhammad died unexpectedly in 632. Abu Bakr was a caliph. That's a religious and a governmental leader. He took over. The Islamic empire then becomes a theocracy, where uh, a government is ruled by a religious leader. And there still are uh, many countries in the Middle East that are theocracies. It, uh, after Muhammad died, Islam um, started to split. You had followers, Shia followers, or Shia Muslims. Those were followers of people that believed that um, only descendants of Muhammad should be leaders. Sunni Muslims are followers of the Caliph or their uh, religious governmental leader. Umanad dynasty, um, their capital was in Damascus in Syria. Um, it greatly increased the size of the Islamic Empire. Um, so much so, you know, they, uh, they covered North Africa, they started to move into Spain, Portugal, and into uh, Europe, into France. Uh, there was a, a, huge path, uh, a huge battle in 732 where Charles Martel fought off the, um, fought off the Islamic uh, people and were able to uh, stop the spread of Islam into uh, Europe. Abbasid dynasty from 750 to 1258, that was the golden age of the Islamic religion. Uh, its capital was in Baghdad, Iraq. Arts flourished, um, mathematicians, uh, this, was, this was the golden age. Um, it, <clears throat> this dynasty also built up trade routes east and west, all the way to Silk Road, all the way to China. Uh, built up libraries, universities. The Islamic world um, preserved much of the Western culture during this time. Uh, you know, during the Middle Ages, I got this MA over here, during the Middle Ages, people were not very educated. Uh, like one in a hundred could even read or write. Um, and so many of the traditions from the Greeks and the Romans would have been lost, but the Islamic people kept those things alive. Uh, Islam in the Middle East helped spread culture. Uh, women in, the Is in Islam at first had more rights, um, but then as time progressed, uh, began to lose those rights uh, in the 16th, 17th, 18th, and 1900s. All right, our last board here. Uh, the decline of Islam, Baghdad fell to the Mongols in 1258. Uh, Ottoman Turks in 1299 started to build their empire in the Middle East and brought back uh, Islam to power up until the uh, uh, early 1900s. Now also during this time uh, you had the Byzantine Empire. Uh, the Middle Ages sinks Europe into darkness and you know we just talked about that. Um, but in the east, eastern part of the Mediterranean, the Byzantine Empire was growing. Uh, the fall of Rome, the Byzantine Empire rises in the east. The Byzantine Empire practices Greek Orthodox, so it's Christianity, but it's a different form of Christianity. Um, Christianity um, becomes the official religion in the Roman Empire with Constantine, and we've talked about this before. In around 320 um, CE, uh, Emperor, uh, and it was at that time that uh, Christianity spread throughout the Roman Empire, but this division between East and West really split them. Emperor uh, Justin, um, Justinian, I'm sorry, in 527 to 565, uh, was known for three, three specific things. The codification of all Roman law, known as Justinian Code. Um, he um, pushed the arts in 
um, the Byzantine Empire and increasing the size of the Byzantine Empire. After the Roman Empire declined and, and collapsed, there was a lot of open like vacuum or whatever, and the Byzantine Empire moved into those places. In 1054, the East and the West split the church, so there was always this split between um, the Roman uh, Catholic Church and the Greek Orthodox Church, but in 1054 it became official. Uh, the Greek Orthodox Church spread throughout Russia and continued to spread east, um, whereas the Roman, um, the Roman Catholic Church uh, would see a revival uh, in the Middle Ages and shortly thereafter. Uh, but the Greek Orthodox Church never really declined. It actually spread, and it spread much further into the uh, east, into Russia. So remember, history is no mystery. Take good notes.